Hey friends, it's Becky, otherwise known as the Freebie Lady from FreebieLady.com. You can also find me on Instagram at the Freebie Lady. Here we talk all things frugal, money saving, becoming debt free. So if that appeals to you, welcome to the frugal family and please subscribe. Today we're gonna to be talking all about ways to save at Marshalls that only the employees know about. I have the insider scoop to all these tips and tricks. I cannot tell you how much I love Marshalls. Like if Marshalls was a human being, I would marry it. Is that weird? It used to be that when you shopped at Marshalls for a high end name brand items, what you were getting were items that were either overstocked or had like a sewing error of some sort on them and you could get them for a discounted price. They were basically like the rejects of the high end products. But nowadays a lot of the name brands actually make a totally different line of clothing or purses or accessories just for Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So unfortunately they are kind of tricking you. You think that you are getting that luxury um, high-end name brand item and it's the exact same thing that you would get at a different store just for a much lesser price but it's actually not the exact thing as that luxury high-end item. It's made completely different with different products. One of my favorite things to buy at Marshalls is beauty items and cosmetics. The only problem is you don't know how long they have been sitting on the shelves or how long it took them to get through wherever they lived before to Marshalls and you are going to be so surprised at how many of those items have expired or are past their best if used by date. Here's a web page that you can use to check if the items that you found at Marshalls are expired. It is called cosmeticcheck.net and it is going to be in the description box below and pinned to the first comment. All you have to do is take the batch number of the cosmetic item and put it into this web page. The batch number can be kind of hard to find, but if you look around the box or look around the actual cosmetic items, you will find it. And I promise you, you're going to be surprised to find out how many items are actually expired or have been uh, way past their best if used by date that are still sitting at the shelves at Marshall's. As you might guess, weekends are the most busy days at Marshall's. So I highly recommend that you go shopping in the early mornings of Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That's because Monday and Tuesday tend to be the days that they are reorganizing and restocking. So everything is fresh from the weekend busyness on Wednesday, Thursday, and Fridays. If you're anything like me or most of America, then seeing that compared at price on the label can really get to you. But I highly recommend that you do not get swayed by it. In fact, there was a class action lawsuit against TJ Maxx slash Marshalls for advertising their tags in this way. And the class action lawsuit basically deemed that these numbers are fictional. So only look at the price you're paying and do not look at the price of compared at. One of the things that is really unique to Marshalls is if you see something that is slightly damaged but you can live with it, feel free to ask the cashier for a discount on that particular item. Many times they will do it for you. However, sometimes on the clearance rack they have items and it says as is. They cannot change the price to those, but if it's on the rack with a regular price, and it doesn't say as is, they have the power to change the price. So don't be afraid to ask if it's warranted. When most of us think of Marshalls and TJ Maxx, we are thinking clothes and accessories, but the clothes and the accessories are not the best priced items. What are the best priced items, you ask? Well, I will tell you. The best priced items are the pet items. Let me tell you, I have gotten a dog bed at Marshalls that was only $9, comparable to the same exact bed at um, our local pet store for $50 or $60. The pet items are incredibly priced. But next to that, what is not incredibly priced, and I highly recommend that you stay away from them, are the bath towels and washcloths. Those are probably the worst priced items at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Twice a year, Marshalls and TJ Maxx has a massive clearance sale, and this is usually the change of major seasons. So towards the end of the winter season, this right now I'm recording this at the beginning of March, so our big event is coming up, 
and at the end of summer so probably like august september their second big clearance event is coming up make sure you sign up for their emails to get alerts of when these huge massive sales are happening these are by far the best sales of the year you do not want to miss them and you want to get there early to get the best stuff when shopping at Marshalls, you want to make sure that you understand the tags. So the white tags are just like their normal prices. Their red stickers indicate a clearance sale, which is, you know, wonderful. But the yellow stickers are what you really want to look for. These are the last and final sale that they ever will go to. After that, they either send it back to the manufacturer or they destroy of the item. So keep your eyes out for those yellow stickers. Know that they don't last long. So if there's something you want and it's in a yellow sticker, scoop it up. If it's a name brand item, make sure you're checking the prices. While we all think of a Marshalls and TJ Maxx is like the discounted Mecca and that it's going to be the best price for that name brand item, I like to always use my Amazon price checker on my Amazon app to see if maybe it is a lesser price on Amazon than it is at, um, that it is at the actual store. You would be surprised at how often I find that it's actually cheaper on Amazon than it is in the actual store of Marshalls or TJ Maxx. You can even use your Google app. Just take a picture of the item and Google image search the item if you're not sure if it is the best price. Again, you'll be really surprised to find out that you can buy it cheaper at a, another web page than you can in stores. Just something to double check with because I wanna make sure that you guys are getting the best deal possible. Another great hack for staying at Marshalls is knowing your store, like the back of the hand compared to other stores locally. So locally, just a mile or two away, we have the store that I Marshalls that is really, really good at having amazing prices on kitchen items. But if I go to the next town over, they have really bad prices on kitchen items, but they have a plethora of toys and toy deals. So make sure you know your store, like the back of your hand and what their special is and keep in mind that the goal of each store is to only have that particular item on hand for only three weeks so if you see something and it's a good price make sure you scoop it up because the whole goal of Marshall's is three weeks get the last secret tip hack to shopping at Marshall's is you can now shop online at Marshall's Dot com and homestore.com. So if you see an item that you love and they don't have your size, make sure to check the online store. I also highly, highly recommend that you get a discounted gift card app of some sort on your phone. I love uh, Fetch Rewards and I, right now I have over $500 in points that I can use at any store that Fetch Rewards has and Fetch Reward also has Marshalls so I could cash in those 500 points and spend $500 at Marshalls. I mean does that not sound like heaven or what? This is not sponsored by Fetch Rewards. It's only sponsored by how much I love Fetch Rewards and recommend them to anyone I can talk about. I will leave the link in the description box below and I will also leave everything I talked about in the first comment. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. If you like this video, you might also like this video right here. Isn't that a cute video? If you want to support this channel, I beg you from the bottom of the heart to please, please share this video with a friend. It's a great way to support this and any other YouTube channels that you love. Go out and do something nice for somebody today. I love you guys. Bye.